Greetings, sir and sirette, and welcome for the very first time to Downfall with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to a game which is very different to the games we usually play on this channel. This is a prequel to Cat Lady, and it is also a psychological horror, a game which definitely will get into some very dark subjects and ultimately try to scare you. It's an old-fashioned sort of horror game, which has recently been remade, I believe, in 2016. That's the version we are playing now, and as you can probably tell by the title, the description of this video, and even the intro graphic, I am playing this because it was made available to me by Chrono.gg, which of course is my, well not a sponsor exactly, my affiliate. If you go to the affiliate link in the description, Chrono.gg slash Laughland, for the next 24 hours you can get this game 50% off the Steam price, although it is only for 24 hours. If you use that link, I will get a small cut of the revenue. The revenue is not taken away from the developer, but, but from Chrono's profits themselves. So with all of that shilling out of the way, the reason why I really want to play this one, and trust me, I turned down a lot of games from Chrono, is because I adored Cat Lady. It was a rather dark horror game with some really weird twists and turns, and apparently this one is just as good, and some people say it's better. However, I didn't even know of its existence until very, very recently, so I'm really happy that I do get a chance to play it, but like I've said several times, if you are not into that type of game, if you are not into psychological horrors, games which can get very dark, and even you sweary words, then please look away now. Now before we get started, I should warn everyone who wishes to purchase this game, or even watch the episode and perhaps future episodes of it, this game is definitely aimed at more mature audiences. It does have some very dark themes and content which isn't always child friendly or even close to being child friendly. In fact, there's a little 18 plus thing that pops up at the end of the intro, which I'm not going to record because the intro is very long and boring, and that does indeed hint to some very bad things later on. So if you do wish to watch or purchase the game, do so at your own risk. It really isn't an 18 plus game, but it is there as it is an advisory thing. This game is aimed at that audience, so it can be very dark later on. I should also warn you that this is a very slow burning game. The first half of this video, for instance, is going to be quite slow getting into the game, and then goes very 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 bizarre, very mental closer to the end, because as you can probably tell, I've already recorded the video, because I am now going back in time to warn you about all this, because I only saw that little 18 plus thing for the first time when playing earlier. Yay for recording timelines! Anyway, I do hope you enjoy, it has been a fantastic game to play, and hopefully you will agree as well. Anyway, into the game, into the past. Enjoy. Also, also, before we get in, I was incorrect about a few things I said about the game early on in the playthrough. It turns out this game was made before The Cat Lady, not afterwards as a prequel. This is one of the original games by the author, so that's just a bit of a clarification. So there isn't really any spoilers in this game for The Cat Lady, even though some themes are carried through to the second game, the second game being very, very popular. So, thank you and into the game. Well, that's lovely. Now, I did get a warning pop-up, which I didn't see before, which actually recommends this game for 18+, plus. although it was made quite some time ago, where, where things like that were a little bit more used. Warnings such as that. Well, here we are. Look at those paintings. It's like they're saying, Welcome to Quiet Haven. We wouldn't want you feeling too happy now, would we? It sure looked better on the website. Ivy? Ivy, are you alright? Okay, our first option then. So you're not talking to me? Or, well, come on darling, don't do this to me. Um, the first one seems nicer, the last one seems more guilt trippy. Let's go with guilt trippy. Uh, enter? Come yes. On, darling. Don't do this to me. I understand you've been stressed. So have I, but but it's time to let go of that shit and try to be ourselves. Well, so I wouldn't please, use a sweary word. Don't give me this silent treatment. We can start again here. We will 
start again here. What have I done? Can we at least try to not make a scene in front of people? You see, I would definitely choose the top option, but I'm going to go with the bottom one anyway. Can we at least try not to make a scene in front of people? I don't want to look like an idiot again. Wow, Especially I must have done something really since bad. I haven't done anything to deserve this. That's right. Say nothing. Say fucking nothing. Actually, one part of the 18 plus warning was that the language gets pretty bad, so it is definitely a dated warning there. But I will probably edit that in near the start now, because I honestly didn't know about that warning, so intended for mature audiences, I suppose. Okay, now let's ask what I've done. What have I done? Probably won't get a response, you were driving, mind you. And then you went to sleep for a while, and really, what the hell have I done? I'd like to know if that's okay. The voice acting's a bit too soft. You know, I'm trying my best here, so can you please just cut it out and talk to me? It's been a long drive. I'm tired, and I really don't need this. I give up, let's book us in. Yeah, let's go I then. I give up. Let's book us in. There's gotta be someone here who can give us a room. If this is anything it's like Cat Lady, which I think it is, there's gonna be a lot of puzzle elements as well in this, this game, so... Huge. Although this bit didn't... Ooh, hello. Ivy, you walk very oddly. Not judging, not judging. Already apparently in hot water with you, but... You do walk a bit like a penguin there, love. Call for assistance. Hello? Is anybody there? We are. Examine. Nobody here. It's hardly surprising this time of night. Oh yeah, it is night time, isn't it? There's nothing unusual about it. I don't know who I could call. Your mother. Ooh, love the cat. That's not creepy at all. Does that say take gift? What does that say? Yes, I read it. We had a black cat once. I told Ivy I buried him in the park. She'll never know. Oh dear. Read plaque. It reads Teacup, the Key Master. I'm sorry, but if I ever get a cat now, I'm going to call it Teacup, the, the Key Master. Take free gift. Oh, so it did say that. Excellent. These are fridge magnets advertising Quiet Haven Hotel. That's where we currently are. I'll take one. Ivy likes collecting them. Excellent. No, Ivy, I got you something. Ivy? Where are you going? New item added. Uh, how do I... How do I... Save icon at... Okay. That's odd. I'm just pressing random button. I don't know how to check my inventory. I guess there isn't really an inventory. You just have to go and interact with things. Um, that was also very similar to Cat Lady. Okay. At least I think it was. It's been a long time since I've seen one, one play it. Uh, I'm gonna check out what's over here. God, this old style of animation is kind of awesome, I've got to say. Also, could I just say, that thing there, creepier sin. Oh, look, the autosave was a clock. That's what I was cycling through. Just turn down the audio a little bit. Should we go to Ivy first, or should we go for the kitchen? I'm thinking the kitchen. Wait, why would we go to the kitchen? That was like a natural thing for me to do. Yeah, sure, just go into this. Oh, okay. I do have an inventory, and yet yeah, again, similar to... Okay, we understand. We have to press down for it, though. Maybe we should look to control. Okay, through here. Ivy is speaking. Hey, you've got your voice back. Ignore the fact she's talking about Satan. Um, not even rats would come through a place like this. I'm gonna say that. Let's be sarcastic again. Not even rats would come through a place like this. But it was a short notice, and everything else was either fully booked or way out of our budget. I know it's not perfect, but it could be worse. Rats stay away from this devil, Joe. You'd know this much if you'd paid attention, dear. When was the last time you looked really close in the mirror and heard hello? Why? What? The power 
parasites that set their roots deep down under our skin. The big fat flesh-eating maggots with blood pouring out of their hungry mouth. Well, she just got 120% more edgy. That was interesting, and definitely more blunt than I expected. What the hell are you talking about? I knew you would ruin it. You always ruin everything. <laughs> like, is this an expected thing for Ivy to do? Just occasionally. She, you know my wife, occasionally she just oh, talks about devils and maggots, you know. Or, you know, women. They always do stuff like that. No, that's not normal. There at all, sir. I'm just gonna ask what the hell are you talking about. What the hell are you talking about? Can you really not see them? That audio was quite and I've gotta say the voice acting has been a bit um interesting. Not bad, but a bit without direction. The original didn't actually have voice acting before the remaster, so the game is fully playable if you turn off the voice. So that's good. I think you actually have the option to play the old version if you if you get the key for Steam. You get that as well. Yeah, sure, I can see them everywhere. Definitely in your eyes. Yeah. Sure. That almost sounds like a threat for some see. reason. I can see that you finally lost your damn mind. I mean, I do agree with him at this stage. No! Get away from him! Well, she's clearly possessed. They're gone now. Who's gone? I don't understand. How are you not shocked by this man? Maggots. They are always hungry, and they will bite and chew and swallow until we are nothing. I love how calm this guy is. Apparently she was fine until she fell asleep, and then she gave him the silent treatment, and now this. And yet he is completely unfazed by this. Maybe Ivy's just weird in the thought. Um... We need, to, we need to get you to a doctor, Ivy. Yeah, I agree with that. That seems the calm and more caring this response. This is crazy. We need to get you to a doctor, Ivy. I... I really don't know what to do. You don't seem right, Ives. We need to leave right now. Something bad is coming. Yeah, the storm. And that's exactly why we can't leave. There are worse things than the storm, you know. Yeah, you lose your goddamn mind. Uh, we'll be fine. The storm won't kill us. We'll be fine. Trust me. Now pull yourself together and follow me. We'll get to our room. Get some sleep. And I'm sure you'll see things in a different light tomorrow. Or I'll be dead. No, that's not following me. No, Ivy, you're walking weirdly again. Well, I'm not following you. I have this horrible feeling that you're going to kill me. Can I interact with them? How do I actually interact with something or someone? Maybe it's more like the kitchen door thing, an, op an optional pop-up if I can't talk to her, I just can't talk to her. Okay. I don't even know Hello. where my- Oh, for Pete's sake, that scared me. <laughs> Hello, woman! We'd like to have a room, please. No, I'm just gonna ask for a room. Let's not worry the woman. Who's looking at us very creepily. I'd like to get a room. I see, of course. We're usually fully booked this time of year, but you're very lucky. We do have one room left. Seaside view, recently refurbished, and sweet bathroom. It's a beauty. Don't listen to her. Is she a maggot? She's a liar. Liar, liar, liar. Fucking liar! Well, she's normal. There's blood under her nails. Excuse me. I've only just noticed the little red ribbon on Ivy's skirt. It really stands out, and yet somehow I didn't see it until now. I'm sorry, I've had a long trip. My wife's very tired. I'm sorry. We've had a long and trip. And crazy. My wife's very tired. Oh, alright. I understand. Oh, uh, well, but the room... I'm afraid there is one problem. It's haunted! What is it? Unfortunately, there's no double bed in it. 
Two singles. Is that okay with you? It's fine. I think Ivy would kill me in, in my sleep anyway. It's fine. I guess. Excellent. Please follow me. I'll give you the key. I need to stop saying me when I'm referring to this fella. I think I'm pretty safe in real life. Hey, Ivy, you okay? Good. Just keep the the elephant company. That's fine. Here's the key. Now may I have your full names, please? Joe and Ivy Davis. Have you stayed here before? You look familiar. No. This is the first time. Is that all? I'd really like to get some sleep. Why, of course. First floor, room 101. Take the stairs. The lift is out of order at the moment. Breakfast at 8am. Please Ooh. don't be late. We'll get a fry up. I want a fry up. I thought- I honestly thought Joe was about to punch her then for some reason. Oh, and one more thing. Please don't punch me. Can it not wait until tomorrow? No, tell me the haunted stories of this place. What is it? There's a lady staying in room 102, right next to you. She's a very light sleeper, so please try to keep your voice down. She should not be disturbed. Do not disturb. Disturbed enough already. <laughs> Um, sure, whatever, we're not going to whisper and tiptoe. No, this sure. would be nice. Whatever. We'll try not to disturb anyone. Good night. Ivy, don't fight with the woman. Or merge with her. Ivy, what are you... T um, okay, no idea what's going on there, so let's just go upstairs. Ooh. Hello, picture. Oh, an elephant! Yay! Stairs, cellar door. I'm going to assume it's going to be locked. Hi, Ivy. I thought she was going to try then as well. Just like repeating all my actions. Good, good. Okay. That's weirdly blocked. Looks like the stairs are blocked with piles of old furniture. The stretched image is starting to give me a bit of a headache, though, with the movement. I may end up playing this on windowed mode um, at the standard resolution because it is a bit too stretched for me. Especially if I continue this. I do have an urge to keep playing because, again, uh, although, it's a, although it's a very slow start, just like Cat Lady, um, I did adore Cat Lady, but what I'm going to do is post this video, then leave it a few days before I start streaming it or recording it again to see people's opinions and to make sure I don't spoil the game for people. I don't want to go too far in the game since it's obviously a story game. Where am I even going right now? This can't be our room because... Sure, Ivy, go away. Because we need a key for our room, so I assume this is just, like, a lobby? This place must be huge. Can I examine this? Oh! Lightning, okay. Mirror, examine. It makes me feel like I'm being watched. By me! Don't look at the mirror, Ivy. Especially after your rant earlier. Okay, I feel like we are going to come back in here later for the mirror, so it's a good job we found this anyway. Can I sprint or run faster or walk faster, rather? No, this is my maxed out speed. We go over here, then. Rooms 101 to 10... What's ours? 101, okay. There's the light sleeper. Examine. So apparently we're not supposed to disturb this woman this woman in this room. I will not try to enter the room. Well, that's a creepy sim painting. There's ours. Oh. You're really not allowed in that elevator. Okay. Enter, I suppose. I should lock it first. Aha! So we do actually have to use them. Okay, so down. Use key. Use. Oh, maybe I should have tried to give up Ivy the cat magnet already. Uh, Ivy, would you like the cat magnet? Nope, can't think of anything. <laughs> that walk the Oh, what a lovely room. Recently refurbished, eh? What is happening to me, Joe? You're going mad, my I dear. I know something's been wrong for a long time, but I used to be able to control it. And now, I don't even know who I am anymore. You said some really weird things. Maybe you're just tired. I hope you had fun playing... Okay, I'm not going to say that one out loud. 
I'm just gonna go with maybe you're just tired. It's nice, reassuring, kind. Maybe you're just tired. I'm sure tomorrow we won't even care about any of this. Wait, wait, wait. I'm losing my mind here, and you... You want me to fucking sleep! If this is reality, I can't even imagine what my dreams would be like. I think you'd actually enjoy this game more without the voice acting. Useful as ever. Which is the opposite for Cat Lady. Hmm. Let's go to bed. I'm sure you'll feel better in the morning. Thing is, what else could I have said then? Maybe you are going crazy. You would have yelled at me. Maybe you're just tired. Would have yelled at me. Basically, I was poor Joe here was going to get yelled at regardless. Yeah, I'm, I'm with this. I'm with the confusion. I don't know what to do. One minute you're you, and the next, you're someone different. I don't even know. What if that person has always been in me? But you, you didn't want to know. You were afraid to see her. You couldn't hide it from me all these years. Huh. You wanna bet. What do you mean? Nothing can save us. Maybe we shouldn't be together, Joe. I mean, I've been thinking. Why do you love me? There are so many reasons, Ivy. I can see who I am, Joe. I know your life would be easier without me. And yet you always wait for me. Can you give me just one good reason someone like me deserves to be loved? Fine. Let's do this. Where do I start? Um. Ah, ah. I like the first two. And the last one, especially since my fiance recently went went to Iceland for a small a small holiday, so I certainly understand the last one. Uh, I never get tired of talking to you. When you smile, I feel like the happiest man alive. You're so cute, and uh, I'm gonna go with the smile one. No, I like the talking one. The smile. Oh, they're all so mushy. Let's go with the talking one. I never get tired of talking to you, oh, even when you're being crazy. That thing you do when you laugh. These are also generic. I love it. But most of all, I guess. I... I think the second one. Now, sorry for that cut. It turns out you can actually change the gamma in game by pressing what is actually my recording key. Yeah, didn't know that until just now. Almost broke the game. Anyway, I can be myself around you. I can be myself around you. You never get tired of talking to me because we never talk anymore. Oh, it's gonna be like this, is it? We stopped talking a lot. I kind of want to get to the horror now, but ago, and okay. You know that. And I've stopped laughing a long time ago. There's nothing funny about any of this. And finally, you are wrong thinking you know who you are because you're lost, Joe. Just like. I think it's time to say it loud and clear. I'm Satan. Baby, I'm serious. This stupid holiday, it's never gonna fix anything. It's too late for that. So please, say it, Joe. Say it. So we can both be free. Aww. Honestly, it does seem like this is broke a long time ago, but... I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt here, Joe. Maybe you do love this woman, even if she is maggot-possessed. I still love you. No, that's the thing you don't. You have to understand that, Joe. Whatever that was between us, it's gone. Ivy. I'm done talking. Go to sleep and leave me alone. What about you? Go to bed soon enough. We need to get up for the breakfast, don't we? 8 a.m. Don't be late. I don't care about a fucking breakfast. Why? I do. We might as well play a happy couple one last time. 
And now I feel like things are going to go horribly, horribly wrong. I visit this place. Okay. The only one that Dreamscape. My escape. My this place is awfully dark. How he walks, it's so self-assured, yet so timid at the same time. It's kind of glorious. Oh! Okay, that was real footage of maggots! Good. That's what I wanted to see. Okay. Okay, they're getting closer. No more, please. Duh. Hell Road. <laughs> Lovely. Nope. Okay. Yep, then apparently. Helen Road. This is where I live. Oh. Oh, yeah. But it's been changed into Hell Road. Okay. Wait. Is this the same building as Cat Lady? I got some really strong deja vu about this room. Maybe, maybe. I also may be confused about when this game was actually um, created. People have said it's a prequel, so I'm assuming it was made after Cat Lady, but also I have heard people say it was the original game. So actually, I'm going to look into it. I'm going to look. Very briefly, I'm going to Google it to make sure I'm on the right track. Okay, so I was wrong. So to clear up a few bits of misinformation earlier, this game was released in 2009, the original of this game, obviously not the remake I'm currently playing. That was before Cat Lady, so it's not a prequel, it was the original game. This is the original game, and it does tie into Cat Lady, and apparently some of the characters in this are seen in Cat Lady. A lot of the symbolism in this game is seen in Cat Lady, so actually there is no spoiler for the Cat Lady, the game. So. May need to clear that up at the start or something now, because that was me being very wrong going from an article which was incorrect. Yay, the internet, I suppose. Locker, examine. Looks like it's been moved recently. Okay, so before I open that, what else do I have here? I remember this guy, Bob. We hired him when we moved to my parents' place a few years back. He's been in our home ever since. Flowers, smell. No, even if I had time for this, they're all wilted anyway. Mailbox. A communal mailbox, Joe and Ivy Davis, flat four. Looks like there's something inside. Open. It's locked, but I may be able to force it. I will do that. Damn it, my fingers are too big. If only I could pry it open with something. Okay, so we need something to open up that mailbox. I mean, honestly, there's a good chance I've actually just redone the intro segment now, just gone back to it, because a few things I need to clear up with the whole graphic content thing as well. Open. Search. This looks like one of my old books. What's it doing here? New item added. Can I look at it, please? Most of the books I own are written by Stephen King, at least. What can I say? I'm a fan. And this one has a screwdriver in it. Lovely. Obviously, that's to pry open the mailbox. Uh, can, I, can I do nothing else more with the locker? Okay. Door. Examine. This is the door to the basement. Nobody goes down there anymore. Can I open it? Darn it. Everything's locked. I was about to say, how amazing is that? It seems to be unlocked. Okay, force open again now with the... Okay, we need to use the item, don't we? Screwdriver, use. Letter tank. And the letter is... Letter! Open! There's a ten pound note and a key inside. Weird. Why would anyone send me this? Me this? Hey! We got money! What more could we want from life? Door, enter. Oh, we need to use the... I keep on thinking it's going to use the item by itself. Okay. Fair 
furnace. Okay, so there's a furnace, we have a switch. And over here we have a cat clock. And then that weird dress thing getting in our way. Hello, clock. Our cat Lucifer would have loved that. We had a cat called Lucifer. Oh, come on. I mean, the symbolism is a bit strong there, don't you think? My pet gerbil named Corn the Blood God. Oh, <laughs> he would have loved your soul. Who's oh. there? Should have took the cat clock. Hey, who are you? See a you? little bit of it, like rags. Oh, let's look at our, oh, look at this lovely little clock. We don't need to look at that scary thing. Who even buys this sort of stuff? The cat seems to love it though. Oh, it's gonna be bad. Oh, oh, you have an axe, my. F you are me. Oh, fuck it. Don't you just hate it when you kill yourself? And by that I mean, like, a version of you kills you. That's a weird quote, isn't it? Ivy? She must have already gone downstairs. Did you just sleep in your clothes? It's breakfast time. Not gonna brush your teeth or anything, buddy? Mirror, examine, it's very old. Ivy's bed, examine. This is all wrong, Ivy always slept on my left side. Okay, I mean, yeah, that, that's the main concern right now. Yeah, we're definitely going to do something with the mirror. I'm thinking like a mirror world at this point. Okay. Don't know why I tried to sleep then, honestly. Just, uh go back to sleep. We'll be fine. Oh, I don't like how this is good. Was that door always so dark? I thought it was, I thought it was white. You know what? Screw it. Enter what, 102. Darn it. I'm going to check the mirror place first, see if there's anything interesting there, before we go downstairs. That's the storm, it's okay. You've heard that before. Anything different with the mirror? Nope. Anything different over here? Not yet. Okay, so is Ivy even going to be down there? I've got a feeling that she won't be, to be perfectly honest. Let's just get down. And we are down. Oh, that's Good morning, Mr. Really Davis. sodding odd. Did you sleep well? Yeah, I did, thanks, love. But um yeah, I mean there's a there's a pig man there. And a rabbit man. And I think a ferret man. And a fox man. You, they they shouldn't be there, should they? Really. Either way, we do have to punctuate the, that middle bit in our options. I'm gonna just ask, what is this? Screw my wife for the moment. Just, what is this? What the fuck is this? Oh, Mr. Davis. Language. Such foul language. I know, right? You might be the man I thought you were, after all. Full of surprises, without a doubt. I'm going to ask the same thing again, louder. What the fuck is this? It's just the dining room. Full of breakfast service, as usual. You know, all bad memories of the night tend to just go away with that first sip of coffee. These are not people. No, it's a shame. And yet they still come here every morning. Sometimes they never leave. Yeah, who are you? Clearly you're actually playing a much bigger part of this than I first thought. Who are you? What a personal question, Joe. You surprised me again. But perhaps this is something we should discuss over a bottle of wine and some other occasion. I have a little office on the top floor. I'm always there. I feel like that could get very, very bad very, very quickly. Where the fuck? Is my wife. Pointy, oh, pointy. she had to go. Not at first. She sat here for a bit. Wrote a note, a letter, I think. Maybe it's to you. But then she met Sophie. Who? They got on like a house on fire. They might just as well have been friends for years. They're still here somewhere. But I don't think she wants you to look for her. 
Joe. Who is that Sophie? Her room is just behind your wall. 102. Ah, that makes sense. I told you it's not good to disturb her. Now that she's awake, she will never leave. If she's even half as mad as you, my wife's not safe with that Sophie. I don't know who you are, but stay away from us. I'm gonna say that one. I don't know who you are, but stay the hell away from us. And I thought we were friends, Joe. But I can help it. Take a sit. Eat with us. And now I'm pretty Looking hungry, all but these worries fade away in no time at all. I have a feeling like I wouldn't really enjoy this breakfast. Uh, n no thank you. Let's be courteous. No thanks. What a bad way to start the day, Mr. Davis. They say it's the most important meal of the day. This is madness. I've got to go. I'll find my wife and we're leaving. I was afraid you'd say that. But fine. I won't stand in your way. As a matter of fact, I'll help you. I've left a key to Sophie's room on reception desk. Maybe it's not too late. I don't even... What is going on now? Yeah, here's a problem. That's gonna defend the key, isn't it? We're going to have to try and get for. Oh yeah, it's the key keeper from earlier! Read flag. Teacup, the key master. Hello, Teacup, the key master. No, do she? You little bastard. Did he just eat the key? It just ate the key. Did it actually eat the key? Or did it just grab the key? Because from what I saw, it ate the key. I mean, that's definitely a way to get the key away from you. Wait. What? The he- Did we just get warped upstairs? Oh, we definitely did. Because we were just downstairs, we went to the right, and now we're hit. Okay, that actually really tripped me up. I'm glad- I'm glad the weirdness has finally arrived, but still. That painting has colour now. And it's really odd. Give me the key, you stupid cat. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, it was always, wasn't it? Rooms 101 to 104, but there was only two rooms last time. Now there's actually four. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's... Well, this has taken a turn, and I like it. Really slow burner, this game, then. Which way now? Let's go for the first room. Why not, eh? It just made different dark. We'll do it again. Enter. Well, that's curious. Is that something we need to do? No, and now I can't use any of the doors, though, so I'm clearly trapped if I do that. So, I'm guessing the correct one will not have this effect. Or do I have to mess with the lights? That thing is really tripping me up in the background, on a side note. Was that painting always there? Probably was. There's probably a trick to this. I bet it's something we need to do here, it's just I'm not thinking about it. Oh! We have to be at the door, maybe, when all of those paintings in the background line up to a... to a mirror? Are they mirrors or are they windows? Let's see. So, not quite. No. Is it this one? No, maybe that's wrong. Just an idea, though. Yeah, I think that might be wrong. One thing I just thought of is what we could have done is perhaps use the cat clock because it was talking about how the cat liked it. Who even buys this sort of stuff? The cat seems to love it though. Yeah, we could have maybe used that on the cat and perhaps that would have made it stop running away from me. Just a thought. Just having one last look around before we go back to the doors and I try and actually figure it out. I just went downstairs and it stopped warping me around now so that's good. We now have proper controls about where we're going. 
101 to 104. So, is it anything to do with the symbols on the top? They never do line up properly, that's the problem. By symbols I mean pictures. There's never a position we can be in which all of them are attached, so maybe just one of them specifically is what we need. Or, or of course we could try to use the magnet or something. I wonder if we can just up the gamma. No, that would have been such a good little puzzle there. When it goes dark, you have to simply up the gamma. Can you use that on a door, maybe? No. Hmm. Not on the light. Very, very odd indeed. One thing I've just noticed is that the paintings actually shuffle where they are when you enter and leave. They're not always in the exact same position, so perhaps it's a painting we're after. Now, there was this painting over here that got lit up. Oh! That changed. Oh! Do we have to go for the door which has that painting on? Whichever painting it is currently. Okay, so flowers right now. It's got the weird flower one. Come on, Flowey, where are you, buddy? Let's see if we're right. Okay, so it's this one. This one is currently the flower door. Yes! We got it! Okay! Man, I would have never saw that. Obviously, I would. I saw it eventually, but still. TV. Look at. That's dirty. Give it, give it a bit of a clean, buddy. I don't see something now. Um, okay. Okay, oh, so that's a wall. Okay, so we're outside. Um. Sure. Okay, okay then, we're now in the TV. Why wouldn't we be? Why wouldn't we be? Anything else to look at? Oh, I'm sure I've missed so much in that last dream sequence. Since we just instantly spawned in the killer. There was the furnace, and there was that weird dress thing, which I think we could have... Hello, cat! Use. Really? No? I guess it's gonna run away. Yeah, I expected that. Okay. And here, the cat. Where are we now? Oh, is this just the, is this Hell Street again? Door examine. Yeah, I think this it's once again Hell Street just reversed. I just saw the sign. Anything else? Yep, just Bob again. Same flowers. The door. Uh, do we still have the key, or is it unlocked now? It should be unlocked, right? Okay. There you are. Me. Hello, Kitty. This is the end of the road, you sneaky son of a bitch. Okay, let's look at this this time. It won't work. The furnace has been broken for years. Nothing happened. Furnace, examine. Maybe I could use it as a trap? If only I could catch the damn cat. Open. Furnace. Examine. Okay. Oh, maybe I can put the clock in there. Now we scare the cat, it'll jump into there, right? <laughs> We're trapping a cat in a furnace. Ah! No! No! Okay. We just... We did a bad thing to a cat. Hey, buddy. I didn't want to do a bad thing to a cat. Oh, man, that's horrible. Oh, that's... No, that's not good. <laughs> that's bad. Hi, me. 
by me. Well, even my murderous self is disgusted. Oh, yeah, but he ate the key, didn't he? So this is how you get the key out of him. Oh, no! It's too hot. Examine. Oh. I didn't mean to do this. The furnace was supposed to be broken. Oh, uh, magnet. We can use the magnet to draw the key out, right? Let's try this. Clink. I've got it. This is dark. Aha! I'll bring the brightness slightly. Oh! What? We're back. How did I. But I have the key now, right? So now I can go up there and say hello to my lovely darling wife. But I'm actually going to call the episode here. I've really started to enjoy this in the latter half, and I really hope you have as well. Like I was saying earlier, what I'm going to do is after posting this, I'm going to give at least a day for people to buy the game if they don't want spoilers and they don't want to see me play it, and perhaps they can go and play through it themselves. Um, I am definitely going to play this more. I'm not sure if I'll stream it because the game's quite small. I can just put it in the side of my monitor. It'll be a very easy thing to stream. Or I may record more for YouTube in huge blocks. Either way, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you found it entertaining. And of course, if you have, then likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that more random games like this are what you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.